Hey everybody, Zach from Hawkins Farm here, hanging out in the kitchen at Light Rail Cafe in Winona Lake, Indiana. Um, and I brought some baby kale into Joel. We are starting to harvest this in earnest now after losing a bunch with heavy rains um, last last month. So we're excited to have it. He's uh, got a bunch of delicious stuff lined up here, so I'm going to turn it around and give you some ideas about what you can do with baby kale. All right, so today we're going to do some sautéed kale with uh, apple cider vinegar. So it makes a really great side dish, but we're going to toss it in with some cavatappi pasta, uh, which can be served really awesome hot or as like a cold pasta salad. So we're going to start with some bacon that you can also probably purchase from Hawkins. Yeah. And we're going to throw that into our hot pan, and we're going to use the oil from that to cook our pasta. It's not quite as hot as I was hoping. And if you don't get quite enough of the bacon fat off of this, or you don't want to use bacon fat, you can sub olive oil or butter or whatever kind of cooking fat you want to use. We're just going to get it nice and loose and let that go. And then once this goes, uh, typically I would pull this out if I wasn't all set up like this. Pull it out and set the bacon on the side. Keep the oil in the pan. We're going to throw in some shallots. Going to keep it going just a little bit. Browning up just a little bit. Get some of that transparency into the onions. A little bit of some fresh garlic. then going to throw in our kale and then we're going to flash it with olive oil to our, or sorry, our apple cider vinegar. So I've got about two or three tablespoons worth. We're just going to get it in the pan start shifting everything around. And we're going to use the, uh, the apple cider vinegar to help cook all the kale. It's going to give it a nice, really fresh, bright flavor profile to it. We're just waiting for everything to wilt. Okay. And we're going to throw in our cavatappi pasta. You can use whatever you want. Uh, spaghetti, fettuccine noodles, angel hair, bow ties if you want to feel fancy and fun. <laughs> if you're going for a formal, formal look. And then we're going to finish this off with just a little bit of olive oil. We're going to go in. Kind of moving around. Sweet. And then just to top it off, we've got fresh basil and some Parmesan. I'm going to stir that all up and then we plate it. You're pretty much done there. Uh, you can do this just up through the kale and it makes a nice side dish too if you want to just have something different than just a, a raw salad. There you are. Thanks, Joel. All right, so that was pasta with our baby Red Russian kale. Uh, we've got that outside right now uh, here at Light Rail. We'll have it on the farm tomorrow. We'll have it in Fort Wayne at the Fort Wayne Farmer's Market Saturday morning. Um, it's really versatile stuff, as you saw. You can obviously put it in a salad, but you can put it in pasta. Um, you can make chips. It's tender. It's flavorful. So come check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.